Hi everyone, it's Miss Kim on this rainy, rainy Wednesday. Um, but I guess we need that because of making the flowers grow. I thought we would read some books um, that are about birds. And I have this one called Nest. And this is a really old book. It's been here a long time, but it's called Robin at Hickory Street. So I thought we could look for the robin and talk about the robin. And let me show you. Um, so this is what it was looking like a couple weeks ago. And this is when all the robins are moving up from the south. So you may be seeing some robins. I know I saw my first robin about a week ago. And uh, this shows a robin in a backyard with someone. With some other birds that are also moving in. That don't stay here all winter. And it talks about the robins building a nest and finding a mate. So, um, I'm going to read the book Nest now. Now, this only has one word on the page, but I think the pictures are pretty neat. This is the color of a robin's egg. Mm -hmm. You may see some in a nest. Robins like to build near your house. I know we had... A few here that sat outside the library. So this is Nest by Jory Her Hurley. Nest. We've got one egg. And you can tell the bird is a robin because they've got either an orange or a red. Um, they call this the breast of the bird. And then the rest is brown. So you'll see those birds around and you'll know that they're robins. Oh, it looks like warm. She's keeping the eggs warm because we still could have, wait, this looks like it's either rain or some snow. Hatch. And in the back of the book, there's some information and it said that baby robins will hatch 14 days after the mother lays the egg. Grow. All the buds are popping out on the tree and you can see the little bird there. The mother bird is feeding the baby. They go out and they um, get worms or grubs and then they kind of burp it back up and feed the baby. Jump. Oh, I hope not. I hope he does not jump. Fly. And in the back of the book, it said the baby robins would fly to about two weeks after they hatch. I didn't know it happened that quickly. Feast. Oh, they're eating berries. Surprise. Oh, what flew into the tree? A kite flew into the tree. Blow. All the leaves are changing color. Snuggle. Sleep. Awake. Explore. Meat. Nest. Bringing the twigs to make the nest. A little bits of grass. This is where I said the information was in the back. So I thought that was pretty interesting. 
Um, it says, after two weeks in the nest, baby robins are ready to hop out and start learning to fly. Predators like cats and hawks are very dangerous to baby robins. And that may be why people see robin's nest. I know I had um, at my house, I had kind of a grapevine wreath on my front door and robins built a nest in there. Soon they'll be flying well and finding their own food. By this age, young robins look much like their parents, but still have scattered dark spots remaining on their breasts. They will still stay near their family, although their parents are often busy raising another batch of chicks. So after they have that first batch of chicks, they'll have another one. And I wanted to let you listen to the sound of the robin. I have my phone here, so hope you can hear this. That's the sound of the robin. So when you hear that bird sound, you'll know that's a robin. I also have um, a puppet here that shows you what a baby bird might look like. Now, this baby bird does have some feathers. When they're born, they don't have any of this stuff on them. They're just kind of really like, they look like a mouse that's just been born because they don't have feathers. So this bird has um, like some of his beginning. This is probably when he's about ready to fly out. Um, it kind of looks like our hair. So that's a little puppet. And this is a craft I have. So you will need a paper bag. Now, I didn't have any brown paper bags, so I have a white one. And what I did with it was I opened it up. I'm going to make a nest. And I started folding it down on the top like this. I folded it over once, and I folded it over again, just kept kind of folding it in, so I made like a little pocket or a little nest. So I've got this one here that I did, you can see, and I guess I could probably use a marker and color it if I wanted to. Then it needs, um some part it needs something inside because the robins will um line their nests with things and they actually build out of sticks and twigs so i cut some strips of paper and i'm gonna bend it one way bend it another this would be good cutting practice for fine motor skills put it in Bend it kind of up. Uh, I just use a little strip of paper. So now I've got my little nest ready to go. And I can put my puppet in there. Might be the only little bird because that's a pretty small nest. But um, you can make a bird if you want to. Maybe out of a paper plate. Or um, maybe just construction paper. You could think about maybe a circle and a, um, another circle for the head, maybe a triangle for the beak, and don't forget the feet. So I hope you enjoyed the bird story time, and I hope you see robins around your house. Thanks, and have a great day. Bye.